Hello and welcome to another episode of Kind of News. I'm your host Fry and today I got another reason for polluters to feel ashamed of themselves. Pollution is now breaking polar bears penises. According to SmithsonianMag.com, high amounts of a pollutant called PCBs are causing polar bears to lose bone density. That includes their polar bear boner bone. The main researcher is a man by the name of Christian Sohn, who looked at and took x-ray pictures of 279 polar bear penises for the sake of his research. Now, before you people start asking questions like, if the research was done on bones, why did they pick the polar bear's penis bone? Well, don't worry, it's not because the researchers are perverts, it's because hunters are perverts. Uh, apparently, people that like to hunt polar bears like to take back the polar bear's penis bone as a trophy. Now, <laughs> I can't help but imagine the researchers traveling around as they found that one hunter that says, Why, yes, I do have polar bear penises. Come on in. And he just has an entire wall slap full of polar bear penises. Now, there's one thing you should know before you go out there and start forming picket lines to ban PCBs. is that PCBs are already banned internationally. The reason PCBs and other chemical pollutants are still affecting animals in the polar ice caps is because when chemical pollutants arrive, they arrive as frozen snow and ice. So they are unable to break down or be filtered out naturally. So what you should take away from this is even if you were to stop polluting today, the pollution will still be there 30 years from now harming animals. So down below, go ahead and tell me what you think should be done in order to help reduce the pollution already in the environment. As always, I'm Fried, and I'm out.